we got wind. Yeah, got plenty of it. About 15, 16 knots of wind, and we're on our way to Gumushluk. 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 Or Yalikovac, depending on where the wind will take us. Just got to overcome a few fish farms first. Lovely to get the sails out. Avoid those fish farms, you. You seem to be healing over slightly. Yeah, I got some good wind. We've took the sails in a little bit. We reefed down because we've got 20 odd knots of wind. So we've got two thirds of the genoa out. Sorry, two thirds of the main out, um, and probably half of the Genoa, and we're doing six knots. So, yeah, we're happy with that. Doing a bit of bread making today. We being Kevin, not me. This is a diet one. So we've spent the night in Yalikivak in the in the middle bay really. Um, great night. So we decided to leave this morning and head down to Bodrum. Uh, there's a lockdown on Sunday here, so we're going to head down to Bodrum today. Which is Friday, so we've got it's to Friday. Go. We're going to town and pick up a few bits if we need it. Yeah. Have a walk, go out to a restaurant. Yeah. A lovely sail. We've only got about nine, ten knots of wind. Both sails out on about 60 degrees to the wind. Bloody lovely. So we're coming towards Bodrum now, that's Bodrum in front of us. We've had, oh, up to 23 knots of wind. So we've had to put in a few reefs. So we've got about half the main out and two thirds of the Genoa out. And we've been flying along at seven knots, so we're really happy. I'm not having one, you see, I'm on a diet. <laughs> this is a diet one. So he wasn't having one. It's a diet one. Mm. They're all very diet to me. Oh, yum. Melon flavoured ice cream. Banana. Very nice. Where are we going? Uh, not too sure, but 
we're heading down the coast. We're going to go and have a look at a couple of bays. So we're in Bodrum, Bodrum and we're staying on the Bodrum Peninsula and we're going along the south of the Bodrum Peninsula and we're going east. Um, there are a couple of places that we've been to before, so we're going to try and avoid them and go to somewhere new. It's strange how the sea reacts. We've only got about 11 or 12 knots of wind, but in this area it always seems to be very lumpy and very swelly. We've got a good five knots speed over ground with just the Genoa out in a virtually on a on a on a run, but the sea is is really lumpy for the amount of wind that we've got. So we're in a lovely little bay, no idea what it's called, we're going to look it up in a minute. Um, we've put a couple of lines ashore onto a beautiful beach, water is gorgeous, a few people around, a couple of tents over there, so that could get quite noisy tonight but we'll see. Um, there's also a little what looks like a very sort of private house come bar come something. Yeah we've come ashore for a little walk and there's a little small holding here. There are buildings on it, but it looks like it's only just under construction. So whether it's going to be some sort of bar restaurant or some pension or whatever, but it really looks nice. We've seen squirrels running up and down the walls this morning and brown squirrels at that. Hello. What are you doing chilling out? No, I was waiting for you because that's rubbing against these stones quite a lot. Do you want to put a stone under the rock out there? Could do. You sorted that anchor out yet? No. <laughs> oh, well done. It's beautiful, isn't it? Interesting, there's a camera. I don't think there's anybody in it. Yeah. knock if you want. Yeah. Rough up that great big mountain up there. No, not really. Just going for a stroll. No idea what this all is. At least got a little shed in there that somebody's constructed. They're obviously living in there because there's washing up liquid, there's a bowl and water and stuff. Wow. But on this side, I don't know if you can see it, there's a ladder up the wall and there are bunk beds above it. Oh, let's roll out of that. Come round and show you right here. Imagine rolling out of the bed at night. So they've actually got bunk beds. That is amazing. But how cool is that? Doing a bit of bread making today, we being Kevin, not me, obviously. Uh, look at that. It's yeah. risen very nicely. You what? So it's nearly 30 degrees down here. Very hot. So he's going to make one loaf and goodness knows what else. I haven't really decided yet. No, it's not the biggest oven in the world, it's just in there. So we can only get one in at a time, we think. But yeah, very impressive. It's been making wholemeal bread, which is absolutely yummy. The white seems to taste a little bit more starchy, we're not sure why. But um, the brown comes out really nice. And we're going to have beans on toast. Yum. So we're on the engine. We're on our way to a place called Akbuk, 
which is not the book that we live in, it's another one. Uh, somewhere we've never been and apparently it's really nice. A lot of room for boats on there. There is, there are a few. Not a bad evening view. So the sun's setting. We're in a little bay called Cleopatra's Bay. It's been um, very nice. We did a five nautical mile sail across from Akbut Bay. Didn't expect to have any wind, but we had a nice downwind sail, so that was lovely. Um, arrived here quite early on, lunchtime-ish. Lots of trip boats in and out. There's a little pontoon just over here on my port side. So just over here, somewhere, can't see. Um, there's a little pontoon and lots of trip boats coming and going from there. Apparently there's some ruins on the island, so we're going to go and investigate that tomorrow. And there's a nice sandy beach on one side too. So we'll go for a walk tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.